welcome back, True Seeker. Got to vent a little bit more about what I just went through. I, I, I got to explain something. I have a friend, Darrell, lives down in Houston. Talk about him often. He always wants me to make videos about his Raiders. And I say, man, you just got to chill out with the Raiders. Use the knowledge. You figure it out. I said, you got to get over this whole Raiders thing. But besides Darrell's love for the Raiders, he's a smart guy. He's a sharp guy. He's a funny guy. And something he always brings up to me is he's like, Zach, I don't know why you're always sticking up for black people. He's like, don't you know black people are the dumbest fucking people there are? And I always say, man, that's not true. And he goes, no, trust me. I talk to them every day. They're the dumbest fucking people alive. And I say, we well, live in a black community. You're around black people. And the fact of the matter is most people are stupid of all races. You're in a white community. You can find out the white people are fucking dumb too. Darrell always say, no, man, you're wrong. The black people are dumber. So I just let it be. But here's the reality that I also know. I grew up in a black neighborhood. I taught in a black community. I taught in the poorest community in Seattle and I wanted to teach in that community because it's like the place I'm from. This is the way it works. 2001 on. Overwhelmingly, black people in this nation are getting the worst of the worst teachers. So yes, overwhelmingly black communities, you know, from a young age, they're in a bad spot. They're getting the worst of the worst teachers. And it's not all about the classroom and your teachers. I didn't have a lot of good teachers in my lifetime. I just knew from a young age I needed to, you know, apply my mind and work hard to understand things. But I want to explain something. You know, tonight, being on this flat earth panel, which was all black men who were all fucking retarded as shit, it reminded me of the reality of this nation. And a lot of these black men were younger. They're growing up in the no child left behind age. And this is the way no child left behind works. If a school is failing, then it loses funding. It gets punished. It has less money. It has less resources for teachers. It has less money for assistance. It has less money for everything. This is a bullshit system. If a school's failing, do you take away its resources? How's that going to help the school? See, this whole system was designed to fuck up the poorest communities. And this whole flat earth thing, it is case in point of what's going on in this nation. And me talking to nine black men about the earth being flat and all these motherfuckers being retarded as shit is evidence of what's going on. So look at this. No child left behind. Takes away the resources from the school. Puts these schools on a probation period. If they don't improve, then their school gets shut down. Then what happens is there's less, even less schools in the community. So more people get packed into the same school. And then they get packed into a school that already has less resources. So now you've got way less teachers per student. And this is what's going on all over the country. And it's mostly hitting the blackest of communities, which are the poorest of communities. And what else is in poor communities are a lot of people that don't speak English as a first language. So this is what happens. This is the way No Child Left Behind it works. It grades every school with the same standard. It doesn't matter if you're in a super wealthy class with super educated parents or you're in a community where half the room are immigrant parents who don't speak English, who have children that don't know that much English. These classrooms are going to be evaluated by the same standard. Does that even seem anywhere near realistic? You know, you got a classroom of people that don't speak English and they're going to be graded against the same metric as the school where everyone's, or the classroom where everyone speaks English and, you know, all their parents have doctorates. So understand, there is a major agenda in this nation for all of you people out there who think black people are stupider because of their race, no. We live in a world that's segregated. We live in a segregated society and black people are targeted. And because of the targeting and the agenda, you know, Darrell might be right. Maybe black people are stupider, but it's not because they're born stupider. It's because of what's going on in this nation. And, you know... To answer the question, which I've told Darrell, the reason I stand up for black people, again, is because I grew up in a black neighborhood. I was raised by black older males. You know, those were my influence. I was the only white kid around. I used to pray at night that my skin would turn black 
so I fit in with everybody else. You know? And my, my big brother growing up was my sister's boyfriend who was a black man. They were together for my entire childhood, from the time that I had my first memories until I was a middle-aged teenager. And sadly, what happened with my sister was she left her boyfriend because a super rich doctor got into her and she went for the money, you know, like so many women do in this society. But, you know, I got to see how his life always got fucked with, you know. I got to see the way the system works against black people, you know. I got to know how shitty it is to live in a black neighborhood. You know, our home always got ripped off. We had fucking police car chases that ended up as wrecks in our front yard. So I just understood from a young age that black people, poor people, they're fucked over. And I've always stood up from them. You know, when I was in elementary school, I used to write papers about the injustice of the justice system and the way disproportionate amount of dark-skinned people in prison. So anyway, I'm making this video to vent I'm making this video to answer questions. People, so many people don't like that I stick up for black people and I say black people are the real Jews. Aside from all of the, you know, obviously negative things that can be observed within black populations, such as crime and poor education, you know, at the end of the day, you look at these people, they're the most resilient. For the most part, they're the most awake to truth, you know, Tell you what, you go in a poor black community and you talk about truth, you'll be a lot better received than any other community. And then in addition to that, I mean, it's stereotypical things, but they're true. These people are fucking gifted. They're the best singers. They're the best athletes. You know, they're the best dancers. And these are things people love. People love music. People love dancing. People love athleticism. These people have been gifted. That's the reason they're fucking targeted. That's the reason the long-nosed tyrants target them to destroy them because they've stolen their identity and they want these people, you know, they want these people essentially eliminated. They want these people destroyed. This motherfucker right here, he's going to destroy his own people. Brother Sanchez is ashamed to his race. This guy's a fucking crackhead. I have no doubt about it. He cares more about his crack habit than anything else. None of these flat editors care about the truth. He doesn't care about the truth. He just exposed that in the debate tonight. Tried to drop some real knowledge. He cut me off. Muted my mic. Why? I, I was letting him talk. He talks at fucking length. He takes fucking 10 minutes to make the simplest fucking point. When I speak, every fucking word has meaning. I don't mince words. I don't waste words. So shame on you, Brother Sanchez, out there calling me a shill. No one in this fucking world standing up more for black people. No one's exposed more about the agenda against black people and how fucking real it is. This fucking idiot. You know? Let me explain something to you, too. My big brother growing up, black man. When I was young, there were some rap lyrics on, and he asked me to rap it back to him. And when I rapped it back to him, I was young. I didn't understand that there was a difference between the word nigga and nigger. But I learned it. I was probably six years old. And he stopped me. He said, it's not nigger. It's nigga. And I said, what's the difference? He said, this is the difference. He said, a nigga is like a friend. It's like your brother. You know? I said, oh. I said, well, what's a nigger? He goes, well... He said that's like what Nazis use to describe black people. But he said that at the same time, there is such a thing as a nigger. He said it's like a sellout to their own race. So he said a black man that fucks over other black people, he's a fucking nigger. I'll tell you what, Brother Sanchez, by that definition, you know what you are. You know? And you're a dumb motherfucker too. And I hope you wise up. What I notice about a lot of these flat earthers is they're convicts too. And I'm not saying this dude's a convict, but a lot of these flat earthers are convicts out of prison. And they might be out just to preach this bullshit nonsense and distort truth. You know, you got the rapist in Colorado, that fat white rapper. Rapist, preaching the earth's flat, trying to slander my channel. 
You got Santos Fibonacci, the liar shill who steals other people's stuff and twists the content into this retarded flat earth theory. He started doing that right after he got released from prison. You see? I don't know what Brother Sanchez's backstory is, but I'm starting to think that there's a lot of convicts out here preaching this flat earth bullshit. Because I don't know who else is dumb enough to fucking get on a computer and explain that the earth's flat when they don't know shit about shit. So that's my video on why I stick up for black people, why I do what I do, why I say the things I say. You know, I got this idiot who's always down in the comments saying, you're just spreading bullshit saying black people are the real Jews. And every time I fucking ask, I ask him, I say, how is that not the truth? And the Jews, Jesus is a Jew. Jesus was a black man. You know, this code, this code of numbers comes from the Bible, comes from Jesus. Why is this code used all over black people by the long-nosed tyrants if they're not the real Jews? You know, that person never answers the question, but watch, he'll continue to troll at every video. He'll say, they're, they're not the real Jews. They're not the real Jews. But then every time I ask, ask him the question, he won't answer. You know? So we'll leave it there, truth seeker. Until next time.